Thomas Shahan, Mac photographer and artist. And this is Colin Northway, game designer. And along with the help of his wife, Sarah Northway, and the sound designer, Jordan Fair, he created a game called Incredipede, for which I did the art direction. Incredipede is a game where you create the muscular and skeletal structure of an organism to reach an end goal. What this means is you can create nearly any form of locomotion you want. So when Colin contacted me back in September 2011, this is what Incredipede looked like. And I was just blown away by the diversity of creatures you can make and the, the variety of all these weird means of locomotion you can make, like a snake here and the spider. And I was really, really excited to work on the project. And uh, I'd never worked on a game before and Colin felt the game needed you know, a new art direction, a, uh, something never quite seen before, something unique. It's a game about evolution and life and needed to look like it. As a way of introducing myself, I am a macro photographer, so I specialize in high magnification photographs of arthropods. And occasionally I'll post these photos up on Wikipedia or other people will to their respective species pages and as far as I know, this is how Colin discovered my work initially. He was on Wikipedia, and I think he saw this photograph of a female Phidbus mysticeus jumping spider, and that led him to find out about my work with relief printmaking. And you see here I'm cutting out of a piece of MDF, line by line, a woodcut. And the way woodcuts work is you cut away what you don't want to be printed, leaving certain areas behind, and you ink those areas, and once run through a press with a piece of paper, the image is transferred, just like with a stamp. But the wonderful thing about woodcuts is all the wonderful little lines that develop as a result of the cutting process. So to create grays and curvatures and all these subtle things, you know, that are you usually have to draw yourself, you have to do this only with cuts, cuts into the hard material, and it's a, it's a relatively difficult process, but the difficulty and the restrictions are what yield the beauty in these things. And it was this Hieronymus Bosch meets Salvador Dali art style I was going for that attracted Colin to my work and led him to believe that I would be a good fit for illustrating his video game. And I'd never seen a woodcut video game before, I wasn't sure if it was doable, but I was willing to take on the task and I was enthusiastic, so we started work. And with being sent a screenshot and the task of painting over it to kind of get the ball rolling on art styles, I came up with this. And it's not really a woodcut at this point, but it kind of is similar in feeling and tone that I want to take the game. Here are some early quasal concepts done by my girlfriend actually, with some cool grasshopper and bird legs thrown in. Here's an early quasal I came up with, it was just a mouth, but we quickly kind of nixed that idea because the character needed an eye, you need to be able to connect with her as a character. She needs an emotion, so you need an eye. Here's an early home, kind of a paper texture, I'm not sure what that was all about. Here's some sedimentary layers and a platform, kind of tiny wing style. And here's some overly complicated root structures I came up with. and. You see here, this is an early kind of work-in-progress version of Incredipede where we hadn't quite settled on the final art style we wanted and I started deviating away from the initial idea of making it a woodcut game and it has this kind of weird ink wash, watercolory line art thing that didn't quite work. So I started setting out to really tack down the feelings and modes I wanted to have progress throughout the game is kind of descent into darkness. And after a trip to the Wichita Mountains in my area of Oklahoma, I knew I wanted this kind of idyllic, you know, stereotypical platforming background, you know, for Mario and everything, and that really made me settle on the final thick-lined woodcut style you see here. It's bold, it's graphic, and I'd never seen it quite used in a game. And now that we had decided on this thick-lined woodcut style as our art direction, I would go and absorb myself into the stacks of the library at nighttime. There wouldn't be too many people around at the hours I'd go, and I could spend all the time I wanted looking through all the old illustrations in the books, all the old etchings and steel plate engravings and wood engravings and woodcuts. And 
it, it was really inspiring for me and it kind of allowed me to get a feel for how old books are and I'd spent a lot of time with books like this in the past but it was helpful to kind of get the mood right and in addition to wandering the stacks at nighttime looking through every book on the shelf I also took inspiration from the great deal of time I spend outdoors looking for arthropods, usually saltacids, and even watching the way a tarantula would cross the path in front of me is affected by my involvement in the game. And back to woodcuts, this print of a knight and his accompanying dachshund nipping at his heels was the direct inspiration in terms of, you know, line thickness and style for the woodcut or faux woodcut I created for the menu screen in the front of the, in the very beginning of the game. That border as well was affected by my time spent in the library. And once I had the kind of method work down, I'd sketch something out. I'd start with a solid black rectangle, then I'd cut away as you see here, kind of in the same way I created actual woodcuts. And I could kind of digitally watercolor it in the way you can do with some woodcuts. And for planning out the maps of the game, I made a rough of the island and I sketched out the rough locations and is loosely based off an island Colin and Sarah had visited and they enjoyed my <laughs> mock-up there. And here's kind of a time-lapse of the all the colors coming into uh, the first map in the game. And the method's a little bit quicker at this point. I would basically sketch it and then just go straight to the finished product. Not quite like an animation there, but it's faster for the second map. And what you see here is Sarah's mock-up she sent to me for the intro, which I slowly adapted into my big woodified sweeping scenes you see in the final version. And that was some of those fun I had working on the game. Those scenes were really enjoyable to work on. So, after a year of hard work, we took the game from this to this. If you'd like to play the game or buy it, you can head on over to Incredipede.com, or if you have any questions for me, you can go to ThomasShahan.com. Thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoy the game.